Hello and welcome to another episode of Film Freaks with a Z, the podcast all about movies. Each episode is about a single movie, and we'll get to this uh, this one's episodes, this episode's movie in a little bit. Uh, but first, I always need to ask you, the listener, yes, you, to join us in the fan vote, and you can actually get your movies on said vote uh, if you just send us an email at ff.filmfreakswithaz at gmail.com. Or by commenting on the latest episode of Film Freaks with a Z, or by talking in my Discord, the Ferret Nation Discord, in the movie stuff section, or just by recommending a movie to us in the DMs, or when you're on the episode itself. <laughs> um, before we introduce the movie, though, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. I am Yemi the Ch- Chan, and I'm here with Inspector Bill Wong Waffles. <laughs> Um, Tay, like May, <laughs> but I'm I'm just Tay. <laughs> okay. And Detective Kellis reporting for duty. Duty, duty. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, you know, Tay missed last episode because he was he was asleep, sleeping <laughs> like a baby. I passed um, out. Right. But like but, but Tay, before. did you sleep through Blade Runner? I didn't. I actually stayed awake through Blade Runner. Why don't you? Why don't you give us some quick thoughts on that since you weren't here last time, and um, we didn't get a rating either from you. Yeah, that's true. You did not. So, um, my thoughts were still a boring movie. Um, Ooh. yeah, no, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a low, a low score. Um, it's just like the concepts for the movie, like the idea. They had some really good concepts, but it was just executed so poorly. Like they tried to go for this whole like film noir like kind of thing, but then they would just have they just like it stretched out so long because like they would take thirty seconds between lines. So like someone would ask, you know, be like, "Oh, here's a question," and then they would just kind of stare at stuff and walk away, maybe pour a drink. And then answer, and it's just like this is so unnecessary. <laughs> um, yeah. So overall, like, I mean, there was some decent moments, but also, like, why did he get a just randomly suddenly had a dove? You never, he just had a dove, and so he could release it when he died. The the main replicant or whatever. Ugh, it was just. It's not. It's not. A, not one of my favorite movies at all. Um, so I'd give it a two out of five. Wow. Kenobi oh will be after you at your door. I well, know. I know. You know, Kenobi didn't use his um, Jedi mind trick on Tay. So, you know, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. No, I figured it's probably best. I missed it because I didn't want to upset him. <laughs> so that'll make Tay the lowest rank rating at, after me so that's good yeah. greedy yeah. greedy is walking tall now yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks say yep no problem all right well let's uh, go ahead and jump into today's movie this episode's movie and that was recommended by me on a whim i didn't know I'd, i've never heard of this one and i was like you know it looks fun uh so i wanted us to watch police story from 1985 directed by Jackie Chan himself. Uh, this is about Officer Chan Ka Koi mm-hmm. manages to put a major Hong Kong drug dealer behind the bars practically alone after shooting and after a shooting and an impressive chase inside a slum. Now he must protect the boss's secretary, Selena, who will testify against the gangster in court. And of course, the star is Jackie Chan himself, Bridget Lin, Maggie Chung, Bill Tung, and many, many others. And I wanted to start this off by saying I was not expecting this movie to make me laugh as much as it did. And I don't know if you guys found parts funny, but there was a lot of scenes that I found pretty funny. I was actually I was actually laughing throughout the movie. I like not hearty laughs, but I was I, I had a few chuckles in there. Yeah, definitely. I could first ask, so is it you laughing because of like the movie movie? Or are you laughing because of like the Bit the jokes and, and like no i mean like just because like it's an older movie i guess you could say i don't know what you mean by that but yeah. i mean you know with parts like where jackie chan like grabs um his girlfriend by the 
jacket while she's trying to go away in the moped and she lands on the ground or um, I like that, like that whole scene where um, Selena's there and it's his birthday. And I found that whole scene just to be funny. You know, he's talking yeah. bad about his girlfriend in front of mm-hmm. Selena and then yeah. she's standing right there the whole time. And there's a lot of I, I don't know. There's just a lot of humorous parts. And I wasn't expecting that, you know, because you read the you read the description and you watch the first part of the movie. And then it kind of gets a little bit goofy at times, which I actually liked. You know, it kind of reminded me of um, a drunken master in that way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was um, Jackie Chan's whole shtick. That's um, how he got super fo- popular in the first place. Like, he did a movie called Snake and Tiger something. And it's like the one of the very first comedy kung fu films, you know, that uh, ever came out of Hong Kong. And, you know, that movie blew up. So, like, everything after that is just, like, comedy kung fu after comedy kung fu. And, yeah, that's that's uh, kind of Jackie Chan's whole shtick. Yeah, and a lot of times I don't like I go into a nineteen uh, eighties movie and like sometimes you watch those comedies from the eighties and you're like, I don't know how anyone found this funny. Well, yeah, it didn't age <laughs> but, well. Yeah. But this one I felt like it 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 was just it was just humorous at times. You know, I, I found myself laughing throughout, you know. Yeah. So I feel like um I mean, yeah, that's just Jackie Chan's movies. They're, all, they're like they age well because it's not a like a there's not like racist jokes or whatever, you know, that like were funny then, but like now you go, Oh geez. Yeah. His comedy is a physical comedy. And that's exactly what I was going to say. He was like the, uh, the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. uh, Kung Fu movies. Yeah. It's just a very physical comedian. Now I do have a question for Callus because when I suggested this movie, you gave a weird, (laughs) Ah, can you uh, go a little bit more in depth with that? Now that we've all seen the movie. Sure. Well, it's been kind of a while since I watched it, so I kind of remember it being just very goofy and silly, which, I don't know, I guess it was a turnoff when I first saw it, but, I mean, watching it this time, I definitely came a lot higher on it. So that's that's why I was, like, you know, giving the, uh, I don't know about this movie. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, it, well, I, I guess it, the first time I watched it, it kind of didn't leave a good impression on me. Yeah, when I told my friend that you know this is what we're watching have you ever seen he's like um no but i hear that's kind of one of the like lower tier jackie chan movies that's weird because i mean everything's positive on like yeah. letterbox is what i look at you know there's there's hardly any lower than three star ratings on here you know it, it's kind of crazy um yeah well i mean i, I mean uh, watching it you know i enjoyed it and stuff um so, but like compared to some of the other Jack Chan movies we've seen, like I feel like it is a little lower than them. But yeah, none of them are like bad, bad. Yeah, I, think yeah, I mean, one... comparing comparing it to Drunken Master, I think the action kind of. I mean, it's obviously a different kind of action, right? You know, the yeah. Yeah. Drunken Master is more of like martial art, like displaying the martial arts and long fight sequences, which is fun. And then Police Story is more like quick action. Um, you know, set pieces that explode, you know, and it seems a lot more action oriented where it's like more quick and, 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 and it's not really showing off martial arts as much as it's showing off just action, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I really enjoyed. I thought the action was actually really well done. Um, one of my favorite scenes is when he's fighting the guys on the bus and, uh, you know, he he stands in front of the of the bus and like the bus screeches to a shot a stop and all three of the guys fall mm-hmm. at the same time. I think that's just like one. It's really good cinematography Two, It's a, an incredible stunt, because as you saw in the after credit scenes, um, he actually like, was standing in wrong. front of that real bus. So, yeah, you know, it's pretty crazy there. And then also three. I just you know, I, I just like the uh, image of just all the guys flopping out of the bus at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, when they showed that in the after like during the credits, they should them falling out i'm pretty sure the guys felt were were dummies like i don't think they were but i don't know no, what do you guys i'm pretty sure they're real people oh, the thing about is. hong kong cinema like back in those days oh yeah no, there was no now, regulations or anything they so. had very little regard for people's safety so <laughs> yeah well as you see yeah, there was multiple so times they had hurt. to cart people out like carry people yeah, out yeah. Take them to the hospital even yeah. Jackie Chan, they had him like they had to like strip his clothes off. I guess he may, might have overheated or something on set or whatever. 
I remember yeah. seeing or that. Or maybe they're like yeah. looking for for you know cuts or whatever bruises. Yeah. Yeah. But there, I mean, there was a lot of really impressive stunts in the movie. I mean, just them driving those cars through the entire village at the beginning, <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's that between... is a one shot don't screw it up. We have one yeah, exactly. for this. <laughs> and there are like people standing everywhere too, like on the roofs and the you if you like watch the scene like a second time, you'll take you know, pay attention to the background. There's like people standing on roofs that are like falling off and people like jumping through windows and just so much going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also all the explosions too. Like, I, you know, that was a little over the top for me yeah. personally. Like, yeah. I don't think there was anything in like the cars weren't even near where the explosions were. <laughs> yeah. The first time, like the first explosion went off. I was like, wait, why did it explode over there? There aren't any cars yeah. over there. That added to the fun. Yeah. That's like files shuffling throughout the movie. I was like, ah, that's funny. But you know, it was yeah, it's a little, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's exaggerated and a, and a little, and a little funny. I, I should, I, I would say, yeah but we should i have questions i guess about so jackie chan's character everyone can agree he like he he's the worst right yeah he lies constantly he like every other line is just him lying to someone yeah it's like he's just uh yeah he just like, he's an idiot <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah they they really show that off during the scene where he's in the police station taking phone calls yeah and, like he's he's twisting up the phone cords and he's telling you know the his he's telling his girlfriend to take morning after pills and <laughs> and uh, all that stuff um yeah he, his, his character like isn't very smart but you know he's got more brawn than brains you know mm-hmm. yeah he kind of like just, just doesn't really care about much that's why he didn't like uh, disconnected all the phones just so he can eat yeah yeah <laughs> yeah well, and then he's, uh, or just the fact that May like keeps coming back to him. You're like, why, girl? You could do so much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say. Uh... Oh, well, okay, maybe they don't <laughs> say this, but you know, good, good dick keeps him coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. podcast over. Everyone will go home. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the end. That's the end of our, this is our uh, last podcast run. Yeah, this is our last. It was last a good run, boys. <laughs> we did good. It was fun while it lasted. Well, I'm glad it's ended on my episode. <laughs> <laughs> but it started that on your episode. Scene. It ends on your episode. Exactly. <laughs> it comes full circle. Actually, it start. It started on a fan vote. Oh, that's right. really. Well, I mean, it wasn't Whoa. technically a fan vote. It was a person who was it going to be a part of the podcast and then left before the first episode, which is why we had Tay come back on. Really? Demolition Man? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> There's some lore there for the, the yeah. people. <laughs> well, I was originally going to be on it. Episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say that um, that scene in the police station with all the phones, I thought that was, um, that's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, that was funny. When just, right. uh, just you know, comedy, comedy centric scenes. That's yeah. one of my favorites. And, uh, He's like even there. He was like doing stunts where they had to uh, he had to like do over again just because of everything that he was flipping and like juggling at the same time. <laughs> yeah, my wife yeah. <laughs> when she saw that pen scene, she's like, "That probably took him a hundred times to do." <laughs> and then in the credits, you see him just doing it over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun thing about. I mean, we even saw this during the Drunken Master and stuff like that. Like, you know, Jackie Chan, I guess, likes to keep all that B roll and and fails and. I like that kind of thing because it shows like how much work gets put into each scene. Like even like the most, you know, even the most, um, you know, easy Simple of path. stunts, like the pen flipping into the mouth. Like it, it's it's going to take us. It's going to take a few tries, you know. Yep. <laughs> how long? How many tries do you think the moped scene took? Which one? Well, like... they they showed uh, him. Uh, it took it took at least three or so times. They showed like three times that failing. Poor moped, man. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, oh, come on, don't do it again. <laughs> don't you mean poor me? <laughs> poor yeah, me. Don't don't forget about the woman who was being thrown off of it. <laughs> I was actually surprised with them, um, because like some of these 
women like, like they do martial arts too so they they got like into the the kung fu and the what's it called the scenes the action scenes stunts yeah, like, that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> like yeah, they really yeah. got into the stunts too with, like jumping through the glasses and stuff like that especially yeah. at the end i'll say yeah in the credits you see yeah selena uh, you know she definitely <laughs> did some of those stunts yep what was uh what was everyone's favorite action scene i'll say because um i mean even though the mall is like the big bombastic ending um i still really liked um that scene where they're when when Jackie Chan's hanging off the bus and you know he's, he's fighting the guys in in the bus and and that stuff I, I think that was my favorite part like action scene what, what was your guys's I like the scene where um it's very early on and they were um he convinced her to go with him and um they were driving and it was very early and they were uh she was in the back seat and she was just fighting the guys I thought that whole scene was funny and how yeah. like the she had the gun and everyone just started running away. Yeah. I mean, I know they were running away because you know there was a gun involved, but I thought that whole scene was funny. Yeah, it was. Well, it was a good action scene, and it was also humorous at the same time. Yeah, yeah a mine, lot of the fights were. Uh, oh, go ahead, Tate. I was say, yeah, mine was definitely the. It was the mall for me. Just all the different sets and like when they're on the escalators and you you see people like just that guy gets like slammed down the center of the escalator and he yeah just <laughs> ducks down there and stuff uh, i really enjoyed that scene um although there was so much glass being broken i felt yeah. bad for glass <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say the same thing too with uh you know the the fight scenes happening in south mall were definitely also my favorite especially mm-hmm. when jackie chan starts grabbing Things that should not be a weapon, he uses as a weapon, like that close rack. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that yeah, was yeah, yeah that, that was, was that was very reminiscent of a uh, drunken master too when he picked up the uh, bench. Um, but yeah, that was one of my favorite parts too. What was that? That's Jackie Chan in like every single movie. Like every <laughs> single movie, he finds an object that should not be used as fighting, and he uses it to fight other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but that was a really fu- that was a really fun moment too because like he actually used it really well. <laughs> Right. <laughs> what you guys also, think of um? They had to show him going down the wire three or four times in a row. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. On the pole. It was a cool shot, and we paid a lot to do it. We're gonna show it three times from three different angles. Yeah. Right. They had three cameras filming that thing. They didn't want any of those to go to waste. No money gone to waste. <laughs> yeah, Jackie Chan was like, you know, that was like the best. That was like that was that was the stunt. We need to show that multiple times so people understand how cool it was. <laughs> but it was very cool, especially with the lights coming down along with them. Yeah, lights, camera, pants, and sparks flying everywhere. But I mean, the the opening scene with the uh, cars going through that tiny village. I mean, that was quite the bombastic scene too. I don't know, yeah, which one's bigger between those two. I mean, I guess the first one would be bigger because you know. Three cars going down down the hill, like just wrecking buildings and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely had more uh, visual flair. But well, I, I guess the second. I mean, I guess the mall. You know, him going down that wire was more flair, whereas the first one was more just like in your face action because of the explosions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I would I will say the movie kind of just ends abruptly. In my opinion, yes. Um, he he beats up the lawyer and he beats up the main goon, and then it just kind of ends, and you don't really get like a you don't really get like a full resolution to the story, you know. Well, they had the briefcase at that point, so he went to yeah, jail. They they had said that the briefcase proves that Kakui is was framed, so you know. Mm-hmm. Well, but... Selena also showed he was or said he was framed, she was there. Hmm. And now she's actually willing to testify. So yeah, she actually decided to help. But I was telling Yemi, um, police story two actually picks up right where this one left off. Oh. Oh no. really? Yeah, so the story does continue. Mm. <laughs> Greedy has a new pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean we gotta get the full story. 
I think that's like five movies then, if you want the full story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Oh, boy. Although, going on all in in police story five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Is there really like five police five... stories? There's like there's, there's a good five... amount. Yeah, there I is think... a good amount. Some of them are just like a new story, though. Like, there's new police story, which came out in the 90s. I think that one starts a new storyline, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there's, there's up to police story three, and then there's police sto- new police story, new police story two, uh, lockdown. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah there's like <laughs> five or so in the series. Well, we <laughs> don't need unquote. to watch the new ones. Yeah, I was typing oh, it the other day. Actually, don't, don't turn them down. Though. I, I think they're really, really good, too. Well, I'm sure they are. I'm just we don't need to. We can wait to watch those ones. Oh, okay. we don't have to. <laughs> um, did you guys find any of the scenes intense? Because I found the scene where Jackie Chan takes the lead commissioner a pretty intense moment, pretty intense uh, scene there. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Where he does what? I'm sorry, say again. He takes the uh, commissioner hostage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They call him the the high. Uh... There's a different name, I forget. Uh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Superintendent, that's what they call him. Superintendent, yeah. Um, I thought that that whole like s- sequence was was pretty well done, and it was it was just it was very intense. You know, you, you were on the edge of your seat, wondering, you know, what's gonna exactly happen. Um, mm-hmm. And I mean, you know, Jackie Chan, like he said, he was never like he was never gonna shoot him. He just he just needed him to escape and and get get his job done. That's the other thing I appreciate about Jackie Chan too. Is like, even though he's a very comedic actor, he can also bring the emotion and and like you know after that whole scene, you see him just contemplating what to do next, and you can just see it in his face that it's just like, you know, what am I gonna do next? You know, he's got the rage in his eyes too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially at the end too. Like the end, he's very he's full of rage. He beats the <laughs> lawyer up, and you can really see it on his face. Like he's really just. He's angry. He's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that at the end, though, after he beats up all the the people, the you know, the lawyer and, and big boss, um, the his Jackie Chan's boss is like, oh, we're going to have to help him write the reports for this. And the commissioner or superintendent, or whatever, is just like, what reports? I didn't see anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyone kind of shows how weird. his character kind of changed during the movie too. Yeah, yeah, that's also true. The um, anyone else notice how weird it was that the superintendent is like so much younger? Than... Younger. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Usually, yeah, that in my mind that's just like okay, he was the son of somebody, and so they gave him the job. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going back to uh, intense scenes, I thought, um, I know it was kind of funny and it was a little fake, but the scene where they set up the stage kidnap with the girl, for the girl mm-hmm. early on, I thought that was kind of intense. I wouldn't say that was early on. I think that was kind of like midway, well, more than midway. Wait, are you talking about when no, was... um, the police, the other police officer pretends to try to kill Selena? Yeah, where it, where he it's like where he tries to convince her to that he needs to, they need to leave. Yeah, it was early on. It was early on. The well, guy, you you were saying hostage. There's a, there is a scene okay. where she's faking the hostage, but yeah, you're thinking you're, of the faking right, the yeah. murderer, not faking yeah. the hostage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. poor murder. I didn't find that intense. That was just comical. It was just like, well, <laughs> I was prepared to come in here and be like, oh my god, that murderer was so bad. But then yeah. midway through the fight, you really you know he you know he's like. You know, do, do you want to keep just don't 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 get knocked out? No, <laughs> yeah. And that's when I think that that was probably the most that was probably the funniest scene in my opinion was like when he's like, oh, he he's he's still attacking me, and she hits him with another pot, and he's like, oh, he's still attacking me, and he hits, <laughs> hits him with another pot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was pretty funny. Um, he's not yeah, fainted. No. He's fainted, or no, yeah. he, wasn't, he wasn't fainted. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, oh no, he's he's fainted now. He's not. <laughs> he's down. He's down. He's out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought it was fun, yeah. Because at first, because it came after, right after the scene where the boss is like, "Call so and so," and bit of a fake out to take care of her. So I'm like, "Okay, that's him." And then he starts just like, 
he's the worst murderer on the planet. I'm like, why would they hire this guy to kill somebody? <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, this is the this is another police officer. Okay, it's all it's okay. It all makes sense now. Yeah, and that scene also does a good job of setting up why Selena then you know does that stuff to frame or well, not really frame him, but ruin his character by yeah, you know, sitting true. on the cactus and stuff like that. Yeah, she's pretty devious. Like after she realized that you know the murderer's quote unquote was actually just another cop. Yeah, and I think that court scene was also another one of those intense moments too, because like the lawyers cross examining Jackie Chan's story, and then you know he you know you think like oh she he has the tape right, and then it's just you know the kind of like fake sex scene. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really ingenious, really good. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was funny because you thought he was actually gonna, like you weren't expecting it. I mean, at least I wasn't. I was like, oh, how's this court case gonna go? And then he's like, I have evidence. I was like, oh, this could work. And then it was the, um, whatever they were saying. I forget what they're take me to bed or I want to go to shower or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, it was like the fake. It was like the fake sex scene. Yeah, on the recording. <laughs> Which you think? I mean, she, she planned had that or. Yeah, yes. so she, yeah, she, yeah, she, she planned, planned it. it. Yeah, I was like, she must have switched tapes too, because. Well, I she think had, she, yeah, she switched she had, tapes because yeah. the song was on there. Yeah, okay. yeah, and I was like, if she hadn't, it would have been the, you know, her all her confession stuff before. Yeah, well, it, it wouldn't have had the movie, uh, not yeah. the movie, uh, the song on there. I, yeah. Okay. But yeah, yes. what do you guys She's... think of um, the one stunt that Selena did when uh, Jackie Chan threw her off the roof into the pool? <laughs> yeah, that was, was like crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> there was, that I was don't like... think there was like any safety nets or anything. No, at all. I mean, like those pools that are like, like that has to be a really deep pool from jumping from that height. <laughs> Yeah, Jackie just... Chan saw her doing it and was like, ah, yeah, I, uh... I don't know about this one. <laughs> I like my feet. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's crazy that she actually did that. Yep. Absolutely insane. They are a different breed, you might say. Um. Oh, another scene I really liked was when... Um, Jackie Chan's car, the handbrake didn't work or whatever. Oh yeah. And so like he's you know keeping his hand on it to keep it slowed down. And he tells his girlfriend to keep her hand on it, and then you know it goes down the hill and crashes through the telephone booth. I thought that was pretty funny. I like that one. That too. was also hilarious. Yep. <laughs> like at first you see him getting out and like the car's still moving, and you see him like trying to hold it with his hand, and, and you're like, why doesn't he just pull the e-brake? But then you know he says it like, oh, the e-brake's broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty pretty good pretty good moment there too, like this this movie had a really good pace to it too. You know, I, I didn't feel yeah. the movie drag Absolutely. at all. It was like, you know, even the scenes that were like talking, they they had a lot of useful information in each scene. Like they used the time of the movie wisely. You know, yeah. Um, I felt like the movie had a great flow to it and good acting all around too. Like great acting. Yeah, it was a good flow. Like even when it did have a talking scene, it did like have a joke in there or you know like a funny bit that made us like chuckle and also it was followed by like some like action scene as well it wasn't yeah. like talking on talking on talking and then it was like oh action scene yeah yeah like i said yeah, any, scene, any the scenes that didn't have a joke in it like were also either intense or had good dialogue throughout mm -hmm. agreed so yeah, did anyone yeah. notice though that um they used a lot of like wide angle lenses for certain scenes and then you just have on the edges people be yep. kind of squished and then they'd come out and <laughs> come to the center and they'd be fine like no yeah, yeah. i didn't notice that no. especially, Not for, like, cool uh, for, uh... <laughs> especially for the first scene when we were doing the whole shootout in that village there was a <laughs> lot of white scenes there yeah. yeah i wasn't i wasn't really paying attention to that i guess it's the hmm. it was most noticeable in the one scene um, in the commissioner's or whatever superintendent's office, and when the, Selena comes in to the first time with her lawyer, that was the scene where it was most noticeable because it was like kind of a behind the the shoulder shot of from the superintendent. 
And as they would come in the door, they would be like squished. And then as they came towards the center of the office, they would come back to normal. <laughs> That's the other thing with the uh, Hong Kong cinema. They love using wide angles, wide angle lenses, because, you know, they just wanted to show more of everything. Yeah. So, yeah, you get to see the, in a lot of the a lot of their movies. I didn't notice that at all. I didn't notice but either. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, maybe, maybe I'll go back and, and check it out. See if I can tell. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a few other scenes where in the court, in the courtroom scene where like just certain shots were out of focus. Man, uh, I didn't, I didn't yeah, realize geez. that either. Huh? <laughs> yeah. That I didn't I notice. Guess... Either. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, just... It was Watches as he's the producer, I guess. <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, that's, that's sort of my thing, so. No, CGI is your thing. <laughs> that's Get also back on thing. track, Tay. Back, that yeah. is, that's also my thing. <laughs> Someone but... smack him on the wrist. <laughs> Cinematography. <laughs> Where's the whip? <laughs> Too far. I'm just talking about a smack on the wrist, not a whip. Jeez. <laughs> that was his like, get kind of along. <laughs> I can have two things. Uh, well, all right, we'll let this one slide. Yeah, I mean, since there was no CGI in this movie, right, Tay? Yep, no CGI. Right. We, you yeah, can, we got to play you that can, You can be the cinematography guy in this one, then. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, if a 1984, or no, what was your list? 1985. 85. If a 1985 movie had CGI. Hmm. <laughs> I think there is one. Yeah, I think. But... Didn't we, I mean, isn't the thing in like a 80s movie? I don't remember. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, I do want to bring up. Uh, 1982 if... was the thing, so okay, CGI so... in 1985 wouldn't be t- wouldn't be that crazy. <laughs> I guess not. No. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> There's no CGI in the thing, though, right? Yes, there is. is I, we talked about this during the episode. You guys, I don't remember. There's plenty of movies with CGI in the mid. 80s and early okay, 80s. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe not Hong Kong cinema, but definitely some American Hollywood productions. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, what were you going to say? Off track. Uh, um, film freak staple. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, we haven't talked about... I guess we did talk about uh, one a different movie. But anyways, um, I just wanted to bring up that, you know, it's a foreign movie, uh, watched with subtitles, and it was a great, great flow, like, I didn't have, I had no problems, which I have no problems reading subtitles anyways, but it was just like, it made it funnier, I guess, kind of thing, but it also, glad there wasn't any dubbing or anything. Well, yeah, I just want to thank HBO Max for not having the sub, I'm sorry, the dubbed movie, version of the movie on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Because Drunken Master was was a harder watch simply because of that. You know, dubbing. You know, it was just it was bad voiceover. Yeah, it still hurts but that you guys like I said, <laughs> like I said, it didn't it didn't affect my score of that movie at all because I you know understood you know that you know it's, it's the dubbed version. But yeah, it, it's nice that HBO Max had the the subbed version, and I think there's also like a Criterion Blu-ray now out now that you can also get that has the subbed version, um, which is really nice. I think they changed his name to uh, Kevin Chan in the sub. Or, I mean, really? in the dub. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Hello, oh, I am Kevin. Kevin Chan. <laughs> well, you know, because American audiences are too stupid to understand uh, Chinese names. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Uh, was there any other scenes or things that you guys wanted to talk about? Um, that fight in in the park uh, after the whole fake pretend murder scene, uh, I thought it was really good and very intense. And with, like yes. with the car being completely destroyed, uh, a mm-hmm. lot of good fight things there. <laughs> yeah, especially with uh, Jackie Chan, like just both legs <laughs> kicking the guy through <laughs> the front windshield. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys think uh, any of the fight scenes were over, like, dramatic or, like, over, like, fight scene I guess you could say? The over-the-top? Yeah. <laughs> what do you I mean, mean by fight scene <laughs> Yeah. Over-the-top would be a better I, I think term. I understand what you mean. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot, I mean, almost every fight scene is over-the-top, but that is, Jack you know, 
Jackie Chan. Yeah, Jack, that's also Jackie martial Chan. arts. You know, you, you could have the same conversation about Drunken Master. You know, a lot of those fight scenes are just over the top. Like he's, you know, he's he's destroying like several hundred, you know, foot soldiers uh, in that house, you know, with yeah. the, with the master, you know. So, I mean, it's just a staple of this genre, you know, and yeah. I think that it works well in this movie, even though, you know, because it does have that goofy tone and also has some serious moments. I think it does work pretty well, though, with 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 the with the genre. In my like some guy just getting beat up for way too long. I don't but, I didn't really feel that in this movie. I mean, yeah, in Drunken I mean, Master, yeah. I definitely that was one of my criticisms. Like some guys just would not go down. But this one, I feel like, you know, sometimes he would have like a few good hits on the guy and he would he would be out for the rest of the fight. Or he would take a little while to get back into the fight, you know. And yeah. I, I, I think that that was actually pretty good in this one. It, it, it felt very realistic in a lot. Oh, excuse me, in a lot of ways. Yeah, I did. I agree with that. I didn't think that, but I just thought I'd probably bring it up. No, that was a good, good one. <clears throat> Cows, do you have anything to add to that? Hmm. No. Are we good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you, Tay? No. Just want to make sure everyone gets their sense in. Yeah, no, I've I, I've hit all the things I wanted to talk about. Alrighty. Well, since we're all ready, let's go ahead and start uh, our final thoughts and rating, beginning with cows. No, I'm just. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I'll start it off. Um, so, Police Story, 1985. Um, there's not much more I can say other than I thought it was a really fun, fast-paced. In, intense at times when it needed to be funny at times when it needed to be really great stunts really great action um i thought that it was uh just a wonderful movie all around um more enjoyable without dubbing so you know if you're <laughs> gonna go into this movie make sure you get the subbed version because that's gonna also be probably a better experience for you altogether. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, th- like throughout the whole movie, lots of funny scenes mixed in with the martial arts scenes mixed in like with like those scenes, like the court scene. I felt that was very intense and I thought it was really well done, really well written. Um, I thought that the movie ended on a weird note. I, f- I feel like they need to just go a little bit further with that. I mean, I understand there's a sequel that follows directly after that, but in the context of just this movie, I feel like they needed something a little bit more, you know, final. Or, you know, a little bit more, you know, something to, to just kind of bring it all together right at the end there and um, maybe have like a, you know, maybe a calm scene closure. at the end. Yeah, a little bit of closure for some for some things. But other than that, I thought it was really, really well done. Um, incredibly well done. And I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Good stuff. I agree with Yummy. Um, they're... Um... It was a really well-paced movie. There was action scenes left and right. Good uh, talk scenes as well that provided value information as well. Uh, No characters were annoying. All the action was phenomenal. Um, uh, Dress. um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Set uh, uh, set dresses. Choreography? Choreography, yeah. It was all great. The action scenes were great. Um, Acting was great. Storylines were phenomenal. I didn't have the issue with the end. Ending was great too. Um, overall, I'm also gonna give it a four and a half. All right. Um, for me, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fu- a fun movie. Um, I also, I mean, at the same time, I also like there was times I'm like, some of the things that like the main character was doing i'm like god you're just so dumb (laughs) (laughs) but like i said overall it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it um i'm now kind of want to go see the second one just so i can get the end of the story or at least the middle part of the story (laughs) there's three (laughs) for this story um overall i'd give it a four out of five well yep um i agree with you guys that it's a fantastically good time uh, it's it's funny how it works. How you watch a movie in just two different times, and you just have come out feeling completely different about each viewing. First time, I wasn't too very high on. I guess because uh, just all of the silliness that was going on. Like maybe I just went in just expecting more action and more seriousness. But this is definitely one of the more uh, comedy centric uh, of his movies. But, you know, watching it now, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed all the uh, over-the-top stunts, all the choreography, all the fights. And, 
yeah, I, enjoy, I just enjoy a lot of the movies that come out of Hong Kong from this area just because just people don't care about people's safeties and uh, just don't care about <laughs> how many people get hurt and what do they have to do to get the stunts on camera. But, um, well, I'm kind of conflicted about the score. Uh, <laughs> I am going to give it also a 4.5. All righty. Well, hey, you know, the movie was good, so what can I say except you're welcome? (laughs) (laughs) Don't need to brag about it. (laughs) Well, I mean, last episode I stated how, like, you know, if the movie's bad, I'm sorry. If the movie's good, you're welcome. So I'm glad I can say you're welcome because, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just glad I can say you're welcome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys well liked it. I liked it too, and yeah, I'm I'm also interested in seeing the second movie now. So maybe that'll be a future pick for me. I don't know. So are you saying we shouldn't or should watch it soon, Sh- or we should, should wait until someone else picks it? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll watch it soon, and you guys can pick it if you want. I don't know. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, hmm, it is my pick. That's true. <laughs> I also want to say one have. other thing. One other thing. Um, Am I a bigger fan of Jackie Chan than Callus now? <gasps> oh, <laughs> you know, I, be in that's the... what I was conflicted about because uh, originally I wanted to give it like a four, uh, just a four out of five, just because you know I've seen a lot of different Jackie Chan movies and I know that you know there are stronger movies out there than this one, but I mean this one I really did enjoy it, so you know a four point five is fair for me. All right. We're we're equal footing now. I'm 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 in. I'm in. Callus, let it be known for your next Caesar Gamer quiz. If you <laughs> Caesar, be a, Caesar, yeah. Gertie Waffles has <laughs> salads on his mind. Yeah. Today. yeah. <laughs> I do have salads on my mind, Central Point. Okay. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give my next movie. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so you guys might have convinced me a little bit. Um, so my next pick is Transformers. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do Pulling the second. A callus. I'll do uh, the second movie. Uh, please, oh, really? too. I'll go ahead and do it. Um, it was either. I'm not even going to tell you the other options. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so Police Story Two. Um, I do believe it's also on HBO Max. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it also on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, it's also on Amazon. Uh, well, it's only DVD on Amazon, so oh, you'd have to okay. order it, and it would have to come in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so HBO Max only. Uh, you guys all have it, I'm assuming. Uh, the Hong Kong uh, synopsis, the Hong Kong super cop must stop a group of black bailing bombers while the villains of the police story 1985 are out for revenge. Director Jackie Chan... Um, stars Jackie Chan, Maggie Chung, same people pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do the second movie. Wow. All right, hey, eh? there, there you I go. Blown away right now. Callus, this is two Jackie Chan movies in a row. Yes. Callus is very is, happy. <laughs> Callus is so erect right now, <laughs> <laughs> or is yummy? Mm, we don't know. We'll have to compare. Oh, boy. Uh, please, it's <laughs> hard. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, if you, the listener, don't want to be spoiled for Police Story 2, or if you want to join the conversation, make sure you uh, watch Police Story 2 before the next episode comes out in two weeks. Uh, we'll reconvene in two weeks to talk about Police Story 2. Well, how? Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. All, All right. right. Well, Anyone else have anything they want to mention before we end the show? Um, real quick, I just wanted to give a quick, uh, funny anecdote about Hong Kong movie making. <laughs> it's something that okay. I saw like on a recent documentary. I forget what movie exactly it was, but there was a movie where they had to film like an explosion in a building or a fire or whatever, and they did not get permission from Hong Kong from the city. So what they did is they filmed it anyways, <laughs> and as soon as the uh, the like the film I mean, the scene was filmed. Like the entire crew was like, all right, let's grab all the cameras, only equipment, and let's go, go, go. And like they all <laughs> got out of there quick <laughs> so they don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> That's funny. Well, thank you for that, Callus. You're welcome. All right. Um, well, once again, if you want to join the, um, the if you want to, in, yeah, I, I said the fan vote this earlier, but if you want to put in a movie for the fan vote, uh, you can just do all the things I mentioned before, sending us an email, commenting on the latest episode, joining the Discord, and talking to the Discord. 
Um, we already have, uh, uh, I think we have all four movies, our new movies for the next vote. So that should be pretty, pretty interesting. And don't forget that those votes do happen during Tay's episode. So you still got about four or so weeks uh, before um, the the fan vote comes up again. All righty. Well, I suggested another movie as well. That is a part of new movies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were naming people specifically, but <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, but anyway, I am um, Yemi the Chan, and I've been here with Inspector Waffles. Okay. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> you did not say Inspector Inspector Waffles the first time. That was my thing. I said Inspector. You said uh... Inspector Bill. Oh no no wait you're, no no you're right I said detective I'm, curse I'm you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was right and detective Kelly <laughs> and we are film freaks with a Z the podcast about movies thank you for listening bye 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 wipe your ass and be sure to wipe your ass or clean your ass. <laughs> whatever. <laughs>